What's good gang? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So yes, please ignore my hair. It's a dent in it because I had it in a ponytail. I've been cleaning and things like that. So I have a lot to catch you guys up on. Obviously, I haven't been on the channel in almost two weeks. That's horrible. So let me give y'all the rundown about me and my health. Um, I did go to my cardiologist appointment and basically it's gonna get dark in here. I'm sorry basically I got my heart I mean my blood pressure taken and then I got questions asked I got my heart looked at and there was really nothing that the cardiologist could say because with all of my symptoms and stuff he asked me about like my personal life and he said it sounds to him like um that's what it is like just stress anxiety depression all of that not so good stuff so he scheduled me an echo test which is basically like a video or an ultrasound of your heart um to see how things are working and if it's properly working and then i also got scheduled a um stress test the echo will come first the stress test will be afterwards and uh, it could also be some other things like indigestion that could make my heart rate blood pressure all those types of things sorry for the the angles that could um be a factor in all of these things but he said for now all i need to do is stressless which i mean i told him i'm a stay-at-home mom so it's not like i want to i may just get myself worked up who knows but after the appointment you know i was kind of bummed out because i'm like dang like this was all for no reason blah, blah blah and then i got to talking to my grandma and my stepdad my brothers and sisters dad <clears throat> and my brother and sister dad and basically they were telling me both little things like my grandma told me indigestion it could be like acid around my heart if it's settling in my stomach and you know things like that so i've been trying to watch what i eat i've been trying to fight battles that i know i can win to lessen the stress because stress is definitely a silent killer is this boom it is zoomed in there we go stress is definitely a silent killer um, I've also tried to uh, just, you know, say it is what it is. Certain situations, even if I can change them, I'll change them later or whatever. So, you know, I'm, I'm actually feeling better. Today is the 10th of August. I did that on the 3rd. So, it's been a full week since that happened. Yeah, I was pretty bummed out. I've had a few anxiety attacks or just palpitations palpitations i need to figure out what that word really how you say it i had a few of those since then um and i actually noticed that when i eat something that has chocolate in it my heart races so bad so it could be indigestion along with blood pressure like it could be something like that so maybe i was working myself up and giving myself like literally having anxiety attacks because i was working myself up which is not okay because i i mean i was nervous i actually have a hard time like i don't know what you want to call it but i do work ow what the heck that hurt i do actually have a hard time um just chilling out but i've been doing better and over the course of this past week lots of things have been going on my life has been eventful this past week Nonetheless, it's been eventful this past like three weeks, but those stories are for another time when I can articulate my words better and is that a spider? Great. Gonna have to articulate my words better and things like that. But as far as my heart, like my chest does get heavy sometimes, like walking around the house back and forth and lifting things, that's still kind of a problem for me, but i am trying to get this house squeaky clean deep clean and things like that i will do some clean with me's after i can organize things around i don't know i don't just want to show you guys my house right now because it's embarrassing anyway i actually did end up working some things out with david and family 
because this is a team what is that noise <laughs> this is a teamwork thing going on right now but he has the kids which is very good we need a round of applause real quick um it did take some push and pull and effort but we got it figured out really big shout out to uh, you know family i'm not gonna name any names because apparently that pisses people off when i do that i don't care but i do care at the same time he does have them for the week and he saw how much work it was just to get the kids to have somewhere to go so he kind of actually started getting the taste of you know being back into the motion of being a parent i would say whatever you want to call it but he wants to actually keep them a little longer for me but also for him because he was a bit like saddened he was like a a little concerned just and i would i don't know what to call it but he was a little concerned because king um was acting really shy and things like that but he understood like all they know is mom mimi pops stuff like that so he gets it um he gets that part but he wants king to know him and stuff like that it's the whole emotional toll right now on him but on the other hand i want him to know that him helping me helps me be a better mother as well not necessarily helping me financially and things like that but helping me get a break helps me be a better mother because i'm able to like have a reset and it's also good for the kids like they need to see family now whether family chooses to be there or not that's on them i don't got nothing to say about family right now when it comes to that sort of thing like that's just if you choose to be in your grandchildren great grandchildren nieces nephew like if you choose to be in their life then you do if you don't you don't so you know it's also about the kids knowing their family because we got our own little family here but they still need to know you know his parents my grandma my sisters and brother like he's still like well they all still need to know them you know what i'm saying I probably just talked so long for nothing about that y'all know what i'm saying so you know props to him kudos to him he's still working and trying to keep them down there longer for his own personal reasons as well and i'm not mad at it i love my kids too i don't ever like to be away from them like i missed them immediately when they were gone like i'm missing my babies i done got pictures and videos and i've called everybody who's had them like i love all of them oh my gosh i can't wait till they come home because i'm also trying to get rooms cleaned and stuff like that but also i'm trying to kind of start to build you know stability in the home so king needs like a new toddler bed frame um i'm gonna get the i'm gonna try and find some car seats for the twins like the bigger ones for the twins because they're getting long i'm gonna try and get them a tv and just stuff like that i want them to come home and be like yay like it's a surprise or whatever oh excuse me i'm gonna get some toys for them so it just makes me happy this feels good i'm also able to sleep i call sleeping in waking up at nine o'clock in the morning i woke up at nine o'clock in the morning twice or maybe three times they've only been gone since saturday night or evening or sunday one of those i think saturday evening they've only been gone since then or morning one of those they've been gone since saturday and it is monday or is it tuesday it's tuesday oh shit oh it's tuesday so they've been gone for a few days i've been able to sleep in and i call waking up at nine o'clock sleeping in because when my kids are here <laughs> we don't do that mom it's time to get up at seven o'clock in the morning which is kind of the schedule they've been on since they've been in indiana obviously the time is pushed up an hour in indiana so they are waking up at eight o'clock for their dad sometimes i think nine maybe not if i'm not mistaken they might be taking shorter naps oh excuse me my chest is that was my hearing got called my chest is starting to get a little heavy um might be taking shorter naps i don't know but i've been trying to 
you know, call everyone, see how they're doing, if they need help, blah, 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 because I got them. Oh, shit, this is supposed to be off. I still have mom brain. That's all good. Like, he wants to keep them longer. Try your hardest. That is fine with me. You know, you're the dad, you know. That's all good with me. The twins and King initially went to their grandparents' house, David's parents' house, for the day while he worked. King went back to his grandparents' house for a whole day. Like, he spent the night and then stayed there until that we got off so that was good he got to have some one-on-one -on -one time because i know king likes to kind of you know be the center of attention once the twins got here he was like these little minions took my spot they didn't really take his spot but you know what i'm saying he was like they took took over when king was with them the twins were with my sister ally she took them to a little barbecue they was playing in water all that good stuff. The babies were playing with my babies. That were the babies that were there were playing with my babies. Um, so I really appreciated her for that. And then today, Titi Lexis took all of the babies. Um, and then my little brother, when he got off of work, he actually came and got King and took him to the park. So like they're just spending time with family, and it may seem like bouncing around, but I kind of remember some of the same you know, feeling. Sometimes I would go here, go here. Maybe not as quickly as them, but it it makes them feel good. They have a reset. They get to play with all these people who just show them, you know, absolute love. Whereas mom, like I'm the disciplinary here. I have to cook clean. Sometimes they all have to be in the room so I can clean. Like it just feels good to know that they're surrounded by a lot of love, that's all. And I actually lied. My granny had the babies. <laughs> I think Allie had the kid, the twins Sunday. My granny had the twins Monday while King spent the night at his grandparents and stayed there. Uh, my granny took the kids yesterday and she had my cousin. She's my cousin. She had my cousin with her. My cousin is two. She just turned two, so she's a baby. Um, so my granny had three babies and yes, she was nervous. But Landry, which is my cousin, she was a big help, my granny said. And I could hear on the phone, she was a big help with the twins. And my granny was nervous because that's a lot of little kids, you know. She makes this point of, like, if there's an accident, they can't call 911. She said the twins are really good babies. Like, she doesn't understand why anyone would be scared to watch them. And I get it. Twins, it's two babies. It's like two double of everything but my granny held it down with just herself like landry can't change diapers she can maybe give her diapers but she can't change and stuff like that so my granny held it down from like 11 to 6 there which is that's a, a shift you know so yeah there was just there's a lot of love that they get to be filled around and there's going to be more help as well i didn't feel like explaining all that i just got a breath oh lord but i have to catch you guys up on a lot of things like a lot of things you know we're in a process of elimination when it comes to uh, toxic energies um and uh, i don't say that lightly i literally mean like i've been that type of person who just kind of um holds my tongue and I don't say much or I can't say how I feel or I don't speak on things that bother me or did bother me at one time, you know. For some people, you can't bring up things that happened in the past because people get offended, people get pissed off. Everything is understandable, but process of elimination. Someone did it for me, but at the end of the day, it got done and it got done earlier than what I intended, which, hey, no problem. No problem, you know? Um, like I said, that's for another story. I'm probably like, girl, what the hell are you talking about? Just people in general, whether it's friends, family, a spouse, like, you know, your significant other, 
people in general like you got to start weeding out the old bringing in new there's no reason to keep tolerating people you know what i'm saying like <sighs> there's a lot going on you guys are gonna know more soon so i mean until then like i said i'm doing better as far as my health and then i am working on getting rest here getting back on track with the schedule um working like i have so much catch up to play what else just a lot of things planning getting my house in order like i have a lot to catch up on i'm just trying to take it one step at a time and not stress myself out because looking at some things makes me want to cry but that was a little update on how i'm doing and how my week or two has been going davi got the kids i got um my checkup out of the way this whole big storm brewed while I was in Indiana, like right before I came to Indiana, but then when I got to Indiana, it just kept on, kept on, kept on. So in other words, I have a lot of story times to tell, but also like recent events. So like there's story times and recent events that I need to tell. In other words, I got some really nice chairs that was for the free these chairs are worth some money so what i'm gonna do is like dress them up refurbish whatever you want to call it to my liking we're gonna use them i'm still looking for like a real table to eat at and things like that but yeah i've had an eventful week and y'all go see what i'm talking about honestly the past like month now has been eventful for me but y'all Folks is messy and miserable and what's another word? Inconsiderate. You know I could use so many words. Messy, miserable, inconsiderate, lame as hell. All that. Like really all that. Had to do a lot of blocking. I had to do a lot of getting stuff off my chest. Had to do a lot of that, okay? And I don't think I'm done yet, but that's to be continued my hair is getting fluffy it's so cute i look so cute with this i hope you all had a wonderful weekend from the past weekend i hope you all are doing something productive have already done something productive whenever you're watching this i'm cleaning i'm being productive i'm working and i will when I can get my screws on a little better, I will be back with more updates on my life. Y'all gonna be like, girl, what? I woulda woo -de woo do 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 But you know, I think I handled these situations pretty good. Like, people thought that they were gonna break me and oh, this is going to ruin her life or hurt her feelings or whatever the fuck they was thinking, being messy as hell. That's what the hell they was doing, they was being messy. But whatever they thought they was doing, in due time, in due time, y'all gonna see. Look at my honey. I miss him so much. Oh my gosh, I might cry. Look at him. I just miss that beautiful face. Wow. It's been three months since he passed away. Let me rephrase that. It's been three months since his life got snatched away from him. I don't even want to say nothing else. And it feels like a lifetime. Like, if you could look at my heart right now, there's probably, like, some type of tear. His death, literally. That was probably the least expected just because of, you know, things. But it hurt my heart so bad. I would have definitely called him for, like... I don't know. I definitely would have called him though just to vent for reasoning because he knows he's been knowing me since I was eight years old. So since I was a baby, like 14 years and we planned on more. But yeah, before I start crying shit on camera, I'm going to do my crying off camera. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching this talking for nothing video. I'll be back with more tea, 
whatever which y'all whatever y'all want to call it this is my real life and y'all finna get a little taste of what i be talking about when it comes to people loving me with condition people not treating me right people not being genuine and then there's just those people who are just they were never good for you type of thing but you kept on giving them chance after chance after chance after chance after chance y'all finna see because maybe y'all even have these people in your lives and you don't even realize it i don't know but i'm about to eat um try and finish cleaning up just a little bit more organizing or whatever and then i'll be back with other news i love you guys peace